Hi, welcome to Unique's new presenter training. I am Gina White and I am an elite green status uh, leader with Unique. I have put together this video um, to break down your first 90 days in a simple format that is easy to follow that is sure to give you success. So, welcome to Unique. We are so excited that you decided to make the decision to come on as a new Y sister. Um, it's just a fabulous company. We are the fastest growing direct sales company in history. So you made the right decision. We have phenomenal products and we are going to work with you to ensure your success. So welcome, sit back and enjoy this short presentation on how to get you started in your first 90 days. Okay, so if I had to give a new presenter advice, the first thing I would tell you is to keep it simple, sweetie. Don't try to overcomplicate this business. There have been many presenters before who have put together a lot of great training materials that are on YouTube, that are out on Google Images, that are out there for you to go find and learn from. Um, just relax. Go step by step as shown in this training video and keep your momentum going, stay consistent and be persistent and you will be set up for success. Okay, so here's what we're going to cover in this training. Okay, for your first 90 days, these are the things that you need to focus on. Okay, we're going to go over how to get familiar with your back office weekly courses, unique university, social site settings and how to get connected on Facebook and link to your website, setting up a party link, getting the word out about your new business, presenter kit unveiling, getting qualified, getting the yellow status, fast start, our commission, pay quicker, and unique debit card, and how your white cash and half price products for your parties work. Okay, so I'm going to get started with this. And the first thing we're going to talk about is getting familiar with your back office. So when you open up your unique presenter website, you will want to look at up beside your name, you will see I've highlighted in yellow, it says my office. If you click on my office, you're going to have this box is going to open up. And this is where all your business materials are found and how to um, keep up with your business. Um, you've got your dashboard. You've got you can click on your royalties here. Um, to see how you're doing for the month. Um, if you sponsor anyone, you're going to find that under my company. So in the first few days of signing up as a new presenter, you want to go to your back office and you want to click on all these and start familiarizing yourself with what they're about and how they work. So that would be my first suggestion. Okay. All right. So the next thing I would recommend you do is if you go into your back office and you'll see that I've highlighted it here for you is there is a weekly courses set up. These are very short training videos that our corporate office has put in the back office for new presenters to go to to learn what to do first. Um, you know, so you're going to find some more valuable information there other than what you're seeing here in this training video. So I highly recommend that you on your first or first few days, you go and take those weekly courses. Um, I think it stretches out over a four week period. Honestly, it's something you can do in just a matter of uh, about, a you know, an hour or so. Um, so they're very short and quick, but highly recommend it. OK. All right, so this is brand new in our back office, which is called Unique University. Um, I highly suggest that you go and you click and you start watching the videos that corporate has uploaded here for us. These videos are going to teach you how to um, do makeup applications. It's going to teach you about the products. There's just a lot of great training videos in there, um, and they are going to continue to build and build and build on this 
so that it kind of helps us from having to do these training videos like I'm doing right now. So I highly suggest that too in your first few days that you go into your unique university, check out the videos and the training videos that are in there to start getting yourself familiar with the different product line and how to apply them. All right, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your back office and go down to the highlighted area here called My Social Sites, okay? When you click on that and you open it up, you're gonna see a page that looks like this, all right? It's gonna list out your Facebook, Google+, Instagram, and then it goes on down with Pinterest and a few others, I believe. But you want to make sure you go in there and put your extension that links to your specific account on here and then save it so that it links up your unique website with those social media sites. Um, one other thing that I want to point out and that a lot of presenters miss is that to make your picture show up on your unique website up at the top, you need to make sure that you are using the same email address that you used when you signed up with Unique and make it your primary email address on your Facebook account. Now, Facebook will allow you to have more than one email address. So if you have a different one, you can still leave that, but you need to go in and make sure that you have the same one you used for your Unique account and add that to Facebook and then make it your primary. That way it syncs both of those together. And then when you go to log in to your unique website, you can just simply click on the Facebook icon and it will, it will automatically log you in. And then your picture will appear um, like it should. You want to make sure that your picture is on your unique website so when people, your customers go there, they can quickly identify that it is you. Okay, so that is critical, very, very important. If um, one little tip too, if you go through this and you are still having issues with your picture showing up, then I suggest that you go to your back office, um, go to support and send them a quick email explaining the issue that you're having and they will help you get it corrected. Okay. So the next thing we're going to go through, and this is this is very critical, okay? Once you sign up as a presenter, one of the first things you're going to want to do is set up a party link. And the reason that you want to always have a party link set up for yourself is because when you are posting on Facebook or other social media sites, you want to make sure that you are copying and pasting that party link for people to click on and go to. And the reason for this is because if they do not buy through that party link, then you are not going to accumulate your Y cash and half price items for whatever the total of your party is. So it is critical that you always have a party open for yourself. Now, of course, you're going to do parties with other people. So I'm going to get into that a little bit and show you what you need to do next. But just to go through and quickly show you how to get an initial party set up. All right. So you are going to, again, you're going to go to my office. You're going to click on my parties that is highlighted here. Okay. And once you click on that, it's going to open up this page. You're going to see a green bar here that says get a party started. So you're going to click on that bar and then the next page is going to come up. And it's going to ask you who is hosting this party. You can click on I will host this party or you can set it up for a customer or friend to host the party. Now, if you set up for a customer or friend to host the party, first you're going to need to ask them for their email address because it's going to ask you that information. Because once you set it up, it, Unique is going to send an email to them and they have to go in and click on that email and confirm that it was okay for you to set a unique party up for them, okay? Um, they started doing this um, in the last year 
because a lot of people would go in and create fake parties that people did not give authorization to be set up. So this kind of helps um, keep in, cut, cut back on that um, so that we know that parties are legit and people actually want you to set up a party link for them. Okay, and then the third option is you can actually send a link by clicking here um, to a friend to create their own party. So they'll get the link, click on it, and they can come in and set the party up themselves. So for for this presentation, we are going to say we click on this is going to be a presenter yourself. You're going to host your own party. So you would click here and then it's going to bring up this next page that looks like this. All right. Here, what you're going to do is you're going to choose a theme for your party. And you can see that um, brought you that you can choose from whatever the monthly customer kudos is. You can do 3D fiber lash mascara. You can do lipstick and so on. Or you can just do the default unique. And so what this does is when you post your party link, this is the photo that's going to appear along with your party link. OK, so whatever you're focusing on, um, you know, whatever your party's about, um, that will help you make the decision and choosing the right one. So once you choose that, then you are going to get a screen that looks like this. OK, all of our parties, once you're setting them up, they automatically default to a 10 day party. OK. Um, and so once you get this page, then you want to go and you want to click on this purple bar and save my party. OK, so what that's going to do is going to set you up a party link. Now, to uh, to get that party link, you are going to need to go back to your original home page. You're going to want to click on my office, click on my parties locate the party to edit, okay, because you can go in and actually change the name of your party. And to do that, you're going to click right here on this little pin, and that's going to open the party back up for you to edit anything that you want to edit on it. Um, you could say something like, um, instead of unique, unique kudos, you could say um, Gina's Lash Bash Party or whatever creative um, name that you come up with for your party or whatever you're focusing your party on. OK, and then once you do that, you're going to save your changes. And then you're going to see it comes up to a screen that looks like this. It'll have your party name here and I'll say your party's ready to go. And so then you can look up here and see that I've highlighted in the search bar. This is your party link. OK, you want to copy and paste this link and share it on social media like Facebook. And then or you have another option. You can come down here when you've got this pulled up and click on one of the social media sites here, one of the icons and share it that way. So it's, it's totally up to you how you do that. Um, but again, when you are posting, you want to make sure that you are posting your party link for people to click on so that they, you're making sure that they're placing the orders through that party so that you accumulate your, um, your free, your Y cash and your half price items. All right, so that's pretty much about parties. Now, let's talk in about launching your business. OK, now this is critical that in the first 90 days, you want to gain momentum with this business. You want to let people know that you have started a business, a real work from home business, and that you're serious about it. You want to be excited about it. OK, so who are you going to market to? Well, what I recommend is when you first start out, you are going to want make what we call a 100s list. All right. So these are going to be a, a, a list of 100 names of your family, your friends, people, you know, friends of friends, people you work with, neighbors um, outside of the warm market. Um, you could church members, anybody, you know, I promise you once you start making that list, it'll come a lot quicker than it seems. But you want to start out doing that first. And here's why. Because you need to have a what we call a memory jogger. This is going to be your memory jogger. And you're going to start messaging these people and letting them know, hey, 
I've just launched my own business with Unique. I'm so excited about it and wanted to share that with you. Um, would you be interested in helping me get my business going by maybe hosting a party or what have you? Okay, so that's the purpose in getting that list together to start with. This is a must, must, must to get your, your business started off on the right foot for success. All right, so how are you going to get the word out? Well, you're going to put a public post on Facebook or other social media sites that you've launched your business, okay? Post your party link with it. Tell them you're so excited and you're, you know, really need everybody's support and you're, you know, you need them to help you get this thing going and get the word out. Um, then you're going to want to have what we call a unique business launch party, okay? You can set this up in an event or a group page and invite those on your 100s list. But let me say this, do not start adding people to groups or events unless you have gotten their permission. So how do you go about that? Simply construct a nice little message and send them a personal message and say, hi, Lucy, I have just started my own business with Unique and I'm so excited to share it. I am going to be doing my own launch party and I would really love for you to attend and check out all of the wonderful products we have to offer. I will be showing the products, um, showing makeup tips and tricks and all that sort of thing. And then get them to commit that yes, they'll come and then you can send them an invite into the group or the event page. It is just a bad, bad business choice to invite people into groups or to um, event pages without their permission. And a lot of times you're going to get unfriended very, very quickly if you start doing this. So what I recommend is that when you are ready to start your business launch party, go back to your sponsor who helped sign you up with the business and get them to co-host it with you and give you guidance on your initial launch party. Okay, so the next way that you can get the word out is you can set up a what we call a Facebook VIP page. This is a group page that you set up yourself where um, you have customers who have bought from you and you ask them if they would like to be included and let them know that um, they will be the first to know about new product launches. Um, kudos, any kind of special deals that are going on or special deals that you have constructed yourself. Now, we are just know you are not allowed to give discounts, reduced pricing, free giveaways openly on your Facebook wall, your public Facebook wall. That is a huge no-no and it is a surefire way to get a nice little letter from compliance that you need to remove it. However, you can in your VIP page or you can set up a Facebook business page. And there are YouTube video videos out there that will show you how to quickly set up a Facebook business page um, or a VIP page. Or again, you can refer back to your sponsor because I'm sure they already have one themselves and they will be nice to help you get that set up for you. All right. So while you're getting the word out, you do not want to wait till your presenter kit arrives. OK, it usually takes anywhere from five to seven to ten days, um, depending on where you live, to receive your new presenter kit. So, you know, you don't want to waste all that precious time in getting the word out that you've launched your business. You know, if you're a new presenter, maybe you purchase product from another presenter and you have that product on hand that you could share um, by doing uh, maybe a quick video on that product or take a selfie wearing that product and talk about the benefits of the product. Um, you want to make sure that when you are sharing in videos and sharing selfies, showing the products, that you are giving value with those posts, okay? Don't go in and do a video and say, hey, I have this fabulous eyeshadow here. Look, isn't it pretty? It's $20. Buy from me. No, no, no. 
okay? At Unique, we share the love of the product. We show how to use the product, how it can benefit that person, what wonderful ingredients it includes, and you always want to be given value. It's just not a great idea unless someone asks and is interested um, to start posting pricing everywhere or verbally throwing out pricing. I would just simply, if you do get a question, um, say under a live video, I would wait till that video is completed and then I would send that person a personal message. Okay. Um, one thing you can do before your presenter kit comes to is go over to Google Images. Um, there have been um, thousands and thousands of photos uploaded to Google Images um, showing unique products, showing before and afters, showing the products being used. And we all of us wise sisters, we share our photos and selfies. So no one's going to get upset if you go over to Google Images and pick up one of those photos to share on your wall and talk about the product. Now, one thing I will say is you want to be very careful when you're selecting those because some presenters will actually embed their website address onto their photos. So just check it out carefully. Make sure that their website's not showing on there before you use it. Um, another thing that you can do um, to start sharing before you get your presenter kit is to go to your unique website and click on the Wear It tab. Um, there you will find um, video tutorials on all of the products um, and you can easily um, click and share those on Facebook or other social media sites including your VIP and business pages. Um, YouTube is a great place to go watch or look for product demos, tutorials on the products. Again, you want to be careful there. Um, it's a great tool to go learn um, so that you can then share it and make it your own personal thing. Um, but be careful about sharing other presenters' videos off of YouTube because then you wouldn't want your customer to think, oh, well, um, she's sharing this, so this girl must know more than her, so she goes and buys from her. So just be cautious and careful about that. Um, there are hundreds and hundreds of apps out there that you can download and pull your selfies into um, to make them personalized. Um, you might, you know, put, um, wow, check out this product or um, check out this look. I'm just throwing some things out there, but some of those apps include Word Swag, Pic Collage, um, then there's some um, video programs out there that are apps like Viva Video where you can um, do a quick little video. You don't even have to talk in it. Pull some little quick music into it and you've got yourself a great little advertising piece that is your personal piece. Um, I would try my best to keep videos under three minutes. Um, you want to be just very concise and to the point. Um, sharing your love for the product. When you start dragging the videos out, people tend to lose interest. So, you know, make them clever, be creative, um, and keep them short. That's the best policy on doing videos. All right. So now we're going to move over to the unveiling of your presenter kit. Okay. So I know you're going to be so excited to get your kit in the mail. It is absolutely phenomenal. The products that you get for $99 from Unique when they send this presenter kit and you get this fabulous case that it comes in and it's just so exciting. You're, um, but I tell you what, here's a great idea and I've seen other presenters do this and they've gotten great response from it. You know what? When you get that presenter kit in the mail, sit down and do a live video on Facebook and unveil it in front of them from opening the outer carton to getting it out, share your excitement with them because that's going to get people's interest in, in what's this business about. Wow, look at those cool products. And then they're going to start asking you questions about it. So it's a great marketing little tool there um, to just unveil your presenter kit when you receive it in a video or even do a quick selfie showing that you received it and put a nice little um, comment above saying, oh, so excited. I received my presenter kit today. I'm ready to just get started with this business. So that was just a quick little tip on that. Um, so 
That's your presenter kit. And then when you have that, now you have product that you can start breaking down and doing videos on showing product tutorials, showing how to use the products because it comes with some brushes. You've got your mascara. So, you know, you've got a whole lot of videos that you can do there or selfies demonstrating the shine claws. You can do another one showing how, how to put on the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara, do one eye done, one not, show the difference. Um, you've got one of the eyeshadow palettes. You can There's seven colors, so you can mix that up and do all kinds of videos with that. But you get my drift. Um, you don't need to sit down and do a full face video to do a video. Break it down. Take it slow as you learn. All right, so... Once you get started, the first thing you want to really focus on for success is hitting white status, then yellow, and fast start, okay? This business loves speed, and you need to get momentum going in that first 90 days to get your business off to a great start. So, what does this mean? All right, to, to qualify for white status, you need to sell $125 of product. So once you sell that first $125 of product, you're going to be considered a white status presenter. To keep your account active with Unique, you have to sell $125 every 90 days. Now, if you got in this business to make money, you're going to be wanting to sell the $125 plus every single month. So stay focused on that. Even though you've hit that white status, you're going to only get 20% commission at that point. So the next goal that you want to try to reach for is to get to yellow status and get bumped up to that 25% commission. Okay. Once you hit that, hit that by selling $1,000 in PRS, that status never restarts over. You are, you are at yellow status always and you will get that 25% commission once you sell that first thousand dollars. So that are, those are the two first things that you need to focus on. Now, in the 90 day period, you at the same time are trying to build your PRS. You're trying to gain customers and you want to try to also focus on hitting fast start. So you get a fast start charm once you hit this and it's very easy to do if you will just Really take that 100s list, start reaching out to people, sharing the opportunity with them, sharing the products with them. And if you're doing this on a consistent basis and being persistent with it, this will happen for you in 90 days. To hit fast start, you have to get a total of $2,000 in PRS in your first 90 days. And you have to sign up three new presenters. It's a lot easier than it sounds. I did it in less than two months when I signed up. So it is totally doable. And the cool thing is when you hit fast start, you will get rewarded $250 in Y cash from our corporate office. That's right. That $250 Y cash will go into your back office and it is there for you to choose the products you would like. And when you check out, you use that Y cash and get those products for free. So it is is a really good thing to try to push and hit that fast start right out of the gate because then that's going to allow you to be able to get other products that to bring in and share on your selfies and your videos. Okay, you also want to keep a lookout um, for an email that you will be getting from PayQuicker. Once you accumulate a balance of $50 in paid commission, PayQuicker will send you an email and check your spam folder because if you don't have your settings right, it could go to spam. But you're going to know if you have hit, you know, $50 balance um, and been paid in commissions $50. OK, um, and you want to go make sure you look for that email, sign up your PayQuicker account. It looks a lot like PayPal, very similar. And then you will want to request your unique debit card and they will mail that to you. Um, so just keep a lookout for that as you're building your business and 
get that unique debit card on the way because it's awesome to be able to access your money and your commission pay um, and use it as you see fit to buy more product or to buy groceries or gas or whatever your heart desires. Okay, so let's talk about party and hostess rewards. Whether you are hosting a party for yourself or a friend is hosting a party with you, the party plan works the same way. You have to have a $200 party for it to qualify or start qualifying for half price items and free product credit, okay? So you see, if you have a $200 party here, you're gonna get one half price item and then you're gonna get $20 in free product credit. Now, you know, you may have five or 10 parties going at one time, okay? So those, those are going to be credited into your back office after the party closes. It doesn't automatically go in there. Um, it does not show up until that party closes. And one thing I'll say about that too is that once you are credited this, the half price, and your free product credit, you have one year before it expires. So, you know, don't let that accumulate and get away from you. So you will see in your back office, um, I've got this circled right here. It says party rewards balance. This is where your cumulative total is going to be shown for how many half price items and how many, how much accumulated YCAST you have to use. Um, this is a great way. This is a great thing to use for um, maybe bringing in a few things, uh, small items like a mineral eye pigment or a lip stain. And when you have a regular customer that it's buying from you, you know what? Slip a little something, a little goodie in there for her every now and then. Um, it's a great way to get them to try a, a new products and keep them coming back for more. So that that's just a, a great way to do that. And then it's also a great way for you to get the things that you want so that you have more product to share. All right. Here, here is the list of valuable tips that I came up with for success. From day one, when you sign up as a unique presenter, you want to be and you want to act like a leader from the day you want your business. Okay. Go and research for yourself. Go out on YouTube and look and learn. You know, you always want to be learning and growing. You have a business to run. You want to learn how to do new things. So make sure that you are acting and being a leader from the very start. And then it will be much easier for you when that leadership day comes for you to take over that and lead a team. Okay. Um, second thing is being consistent. You need to be consistent when you're posting on your Facebook wall on a daily basis. And I don't mean just go flood your Facebook wall with posts of unique products. You need to be showing people who you are. Okay. This is about you. This is your business. Show people your family. Show them you having fun. Lifestyle things. You know, put up recipes. Put up things that people are going to want to go click on and share. Because what that does is that helps Facebook, well, it kind of tweaks the Facebook algorithm and it helps you get more views on your page so that when you are putting up videos and product posts, more people are going to see that in their feed if you're being more interactive on Facebook on a daily basis. You know, keep your momentum going. You know, don't post for a week and then take a week off. This is a business. You know, if somebody goes out here and opens a clothing or a restaurant, a clothing store or a restaurant, you know, they're not open one week and close the next in order to be successful. And this is no different. This is no different at all. So if you want to build your business and you want to build it quick, you got to be open for business. Never, never stop learning. OK, always go out on YouTube. Um, look for new tips and tricks on makeup. Go read about what the new makeup trends are so that you can be creative and incorporate those into your selfies and your videos. It will go a long way in gaining new customers. 
Personal development is huge. Okay. You're starting a business. You know, you need to learn and grow yourself to be a leader because your hope is, is that you're going to start building a team and you want to build that team and you want to build a wide team and a deep team. And so once you get all these people under you, you want to get yourself up to par. You want to be able to lead them, you know, and if you stay right where you are and you're not growing and you're not learning about direct sales and how to build a business in direct sales, then you're not going to be able to lead a team. So personal development and personal growth is huge in my book um, as far as being successful. All right. Always, always share the opportunity no matter where you go. Um, one thing I did leave out in this presentation and this sort of ties in here is that you always, always want to be prepared. Always. Um, there is a place in your back office for you to go purchase um, business cards and uh, what we call blitz cards. Um, they're just little advertising pieces that you can carry in your purse or your little bag. And when you're out and about shopping, having dinner, if you see a lady that you think would be interested in learning about the opportunity or learning about the makeup and learning about unique, um, you know, hand her a business card. Hand her a blitz card, hand her an opportunity card and say, hey, you know, I just want to pass this along. I came across this amazing opportunity and I thought maybe you would be interested as well. This is huge. Um, and, and you wouldn't believe this is a great way to expand your warm market. And trust me, to be successful, you're going to have to reach out of your warm market, meaning your friends, your family, the people you work with. You are going to have to reach out beyond that by talking to people when you're shopping, when you're um, eating out, you know, wherever you are. And you find the opportunity to talk to people and share the opportunity. And that goes into building your team deep and wide. Okay. You want to always be um, sharing the opportunity and looking for people that you think this business would be beneficial to. If you see a girlfriend post on Facebook, you know, I'm just really tired of my job. I wish I could find something better or a better way. You know what? Reach out to her. There's your sign. She may just be interested in this opportunity in a way to have extra income and help her family. So always be looking for that and looking for the next person that you can share this amazing opportunity with. You want to replicate within your within your company. So just like this training video that I'm sharing with you, you need to share it with those that you sign up. You need to always be replicating what you've learned down to the next one and to the next one. And that is what is going to gain momentum and speed to build your team. Be there for your personally sponsored. If you reach out and you sign someone up and you share, this is a great company, this is a great opportunity, and you get them signed up and then you leave them high and dry with no training and no help, shame on you. If you are going to sign people up and sponsor them, it is your responsibility to get them on track by sharing with them the materials that are available out there, such as this video, to get them started on the right track. Okay? And lastly, please, please read and follow your presenter compliance agreement. You would be surprised how many people overlook this agreement and they do not read into it. And then they get letters and emails from compliance that they have shared pricing, uh, lower pricing on their pages. They've offered to give something free away on their pages. Ladies, this is critical. You need to read that presenter compliance agreement. Um, that's why they sent it to you. It is a contract, a binding contract between yourself and Unique Corporate. And you need to follow their guidelines in order to have a successful business and to keep your account open. So please, please, you know, respect their wishes and what that agreement says and make sure that you read it carefully. If you have any questions, I advise you to reach back out to the person who sponsored you or find another presenter that can answer those questions for you or simply send e um, a email to um, um, compliance or support 
at corporate and they will be happy to answer any specific questions you have about that pres presenter agreement. So congrats on your decision to join Unique. I hope that this short um, video has been helpful to you to help you get your business launched um, to be very successful. Um, I welcome you as a new wise sister, and we're so thrilled that you've decided to come on board the most amazing direct sales company in history. Thanks so much, and I wish you much, much success.